case, Russia will not stop until it has all of Ukraine, and then it will continue beyond Ukraine. We're only midway through this story. Now, you guys remember back in the first week of the war when we thought this was gonna all be over really quickly? How on the fourth day, we had that 40 mile long convoy of vehicles going from Belarus south towards Kiev. I was like, crap, this is it. And then on the fourth day of the war, the convoy stopped because they forgot fuel. <laughs> and then on the seventh day of the war, all the soldiers dismounted from their equipment and walked back to Belarus because they also forgot food. And everyone I know at every defense ministry across NATO thought the same thing. Well, holy crap, the Russians don't know how to fight a modern war at all. They've forgotten all of the lessons they've learned in the last 200 years. It's a parade force. They're doing worse than the Iraqis did in 1992. If we go head to head with Russia, there will be a thousand to one casualty ratios. It will be a wipeout. And this made no one happy at all because the Russians see this war accurately as an existential battle for their survival. They know if they fail at this, they are completely exposed to whatever's next and their demographic situation is so horrible, this is the last generation that they have soldiers to fight. So if we do have a direct confrontation with NATO, they will use every tool they have and there will be a general nuclear exchange. So the decision was made very, very early in Washington and London and Berlin and the rest that we have to destroy the Russian military capacity to function here, now, in Ukraine, but without a single set of NATO boots on the ground.